Guys, this is the Yeezy 700 Inertia. <laughs> Let's start the unboxing so before we do that so let me just describe to you or share the the box itself so it's a typical uh yeezy box if you would see that it says here 700 which is the silhouette for this model and uh, if you look at on the side so it will say here that it's a yeezy boost 700 it's size 12 and a half uh we didn't get a chance to uh get or cop a pair during the launch itself but we were able to get this the next day so there's only uh one size left which is 12 and a half so um Luckily for me, when I went to Seoul Academy, I did see the size 10 on display and uh, I noticed that it's not as big as uh, what I think it is. So when I went back to the Adidas store to get to check the 12 and a half, it looks, really, looks like the nor normal size 11 that I would say that, uh, that we are seeing. So that's why when I did purchase this, I got it in retail for 16,000 pesos as you can see and I didn't get this from any resellers because I know that the markup is really really high and it goes up to 22,000 pesos right now when you buy your true to size. So a size and a half bigger, I would say that it's still okay. Uh, I did try to fit it uh, after I purchased it and it fits perfectly. So it's a little bit snug when it comes to the inside but you would really feel the comfort inside because of the cushioning uh, of the shoe so it's really designed for comfort and at the same time lifestyle so let's get to the unboxing so it's not the typical adidas um box that you have so it's a slide box wherein you would see the typical brown tissue paper of a yeezy and when you open it so this is what the shoe looks like um, if you notice, it's uh, um, it's like a dad shoes, right? Um, you know, the midsole is really, really huge. It's really massive. So, so if you look at the front, so there's a mesh material there. Uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, I would say a little bit bluish gray um, material, and um, and then this is a little bit of rubber, and uh, this one is uh, more of another mesh, which is also bluish gray. If you look at it, and uh, the midsole is uh, purely rubber, and uh, the colors is really more of the bluish uh, uh, design or bluish gray and then there's some gray and also I would say the salmon color or pinkish or yeah salmon would be the best way to describe it if you eat salmon you would know that the color of that fish is like this and if you look at the midsole inside you would see that there's a boost material which is um over or under the um, the the outsole i would say that it's made of rubber so it's really comfortable because it's made of boost your comfort level in terms of uh, stepping to the shoes is going to be on the boost material and uh, on the inside in terms of the um uh, insole so you would really see let me just take this out uh, i already put some stuff here so if you look at the boost it's the insole it's nothing really uh, i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it says they're yeezy so all in all it was a great it's a great silhouette i would say compared to the 350 i still prefer the 700 probably because i still prefer be having a uh, dad shoe rather than um the 350 but overall it's, it looks good so um i'll be having another uh, unboxing or review video rather review sorry not unboxing i already did the unboxing right now so i'm going to do the review uh, on feet review for the yc 700 watch out for that but for now this is the unboxing so again thank you so much for your um for viewing my youtube channel and um please don't forget to subscribe to my instagram at jason 81 and also on twitter jason 81 and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell uh, i'll make sure that uh, i'll upload as many videos as i can like what i said on my pilot episode we talk about anything that um relates to dogs uh, sneakers gadgets and if you look at the background toys so I'll be doing more unboxing in the future so watch out for that but thank you so much for watching
Bye. <laughs>